Welcome back to News 3 at 5.30. It is that time of day. It's Monday motivation time. Today, we are tackling a topic that hits home for many of us, handling and preventing hurtful criticism. I'm here with our transformational leadership coach, Carol Mendoza. And Carol, I think uh, most of us have been there. I certainly <laughs> know I have. And sometimes I'm like, you know what? I need to give that person the side eye or what have you. Yeah. But really, truly, even when we do get this negative feedback, how can we handle it and mm -hmm. still remain healthy? So I think the first thing to do is to actually acknowledge the hurt. Ac acknowledge the feelings that you're having because they do matter, but not to focus on them, to actually use them to, pro to propel you forward. Um, ask yourself, is the way that I'm feeling, are the thoughts that I'm having uh, really going to make a difference in the person that I am becoming? So do I want to hold on to insecurity? Do I want to hold on to shame? Do I want to hold on to anger? And is that part of the person that I'm becoming? And if not, then we want to let that go, right? Right, absolutely. Um, so I think, I think that's the first thing. And then, and then I think it's important to really understand the source. You know, hurt people hurt people, mm -hmm. right? I, I've, I've seen it a million times, and uh, like I was saying a few minutes ago, I mean, I, I get bad vibes from people sometimes as well because I'm human, and I'm just wondering, although I may feel like some of you watching right now, mm -hmm. what practical ways are there for us to really acknowledge that hurt and move forward, albeit uh, tough at times? So what I try to look at is, first of all, knowing that it hurt people hurt people, I'm going to think about, well, if, if this person was actually physically hurt in front of me, how would I treat them? What would I say? So acting with grace, but also with yourself, being that friend to yourself that you would be to someone else in the same situation, right? Right. Um, using the, the situation to actually propel you forward when someone throws a negative comment at you think of it like a stone or a brick that you're going to put down on the on the ground and you're going to step up on it because honestly if you're getting some negative criticism it means you're doing something right and you're bigger than that person yes and it's <laughs> it and you're leveling up you're leveling mm -hmm. up so see it as a as a way that you are actually becoming better, becoming stronger. You know, um, nobody looks at a caterpillar and says, oh, I see a butterfly. We don't, we don't right? Absolutely not. So just remember that. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of people will lean on social media, those emails, text messages. I mean, I wonder also, with those re impulsive responses, oh uh, how can we manage this better and mm -hmm. try to just get past it? Well, just because you have a thought doesn't mean it's valuable. <laughs> so, I like that. You know, I like that. We want to be we want to be careful that we are not being that re, re, you know reactive person. And I think text messaging and social media and all that give us this this sense of feeling like oh I got to respond right away or I got to do something right away. One of the things that I learned a couple of years ago, um, I wish I'd learned it sooner, but two questions to ask yourself before you do anything, say anything, do anything, respond to anything. The first one is, is what I am going to say important to the audience that it's going to be for? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be important to them? And the second thing is, is it, is it going to encourage, edify, or lift up, build up this person? And if I can't answer yes, I'm not going to do it. What an education today. Very valuable, valuable advice. I thank you so much for You're that. And I'm welcome. sure you do our viewers as well. Carol, as always, we enjoy having you and we look forward to seeing you next Monday. Thank you. Mm -hmm.